Hey everybody, welcome to a new playthrough that we're doing to replace Demo Days. Uh, so, we're playing Shadow of Destiny, a PS2 adventure game that has surprising ties to Suikoden that we're actually also playing, as you know. Yeah. yeah Junko Kawano, who's um, the character artist and designer from the original Suikoden, uh, this was a game that she wrote and directed and did the art direction for. Well, uh, um, this is going into like a little intro thing. Seen it a couple times. Unique style. Yeah. This isn't what the actual game proper, the style. Um, kind yeah, of like an indie it, game right now. Yeah, the, the game itself is, isn't cell shaded. Should have been. Um, That's Mario. Yeah. So, Joe, do you want to explain you? We're coming up with a clever, cute title for this playthrough. Um, yeah, the uh, when I first heard about this game before uh, it had come out, is that it was known by the name The Day of Valpurgis, uh, which I believe is a German holiday. Uh, but I think people celebrate Bel Bel Valpurgis' Eve. Um, so, the you know, I, I'm not exactly sure what that meant. Other than it was a play on the existing holiday. Um, so we were thinking, call it the play of Valpurgis. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Let's start, Joe. Yeah, let's do it. Joe's playing this time. Yeah. Also, this is, I think, my favorite adventure game ever. But I haven't played it in, you know, 15 years. So let's go. We'll see. Maybe not 15. Probably not. Probably not. 10? April 8th, 2001. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Looks good. I just got tied on those jaggies. <laughs> those textures. This is the PS2 version, not the PSP re release that had the new voice acting. Yeah. Which I did play. I wasn't a fan. Cinematic. So this is probably pretty new to you, even though you've played the game before. It's it's been, you know, you were pretty young. What are you thinking right now? Well, I mean, I've seen the intro, and, you know, quite a few times since then. Um, you know, I know what this game looks like. <laughs> Yeah, man. Ike goes down without a fight. Yeah, he does. He's got that, uh... That shaking. Pulled it from Suicone, too. I love the music in this game. Very quirky, very weird. I think Shadow Destiny is, like, such an interesting... Interesting game. Um, as, like, it's not super long. And I feel like it's unlike anything that really was out at the time. And I, I mean, even still, like, there's not a lot of games that have been kind of so small, tight. I mean, in a way, kind of like, I guess, Catherine on PS, PS3, 360. Yeah, I, I guess. Kind of a similar sort of bite-sized uh, adventure game thing. With a quirk to it. What the? Oh, what's going on? What on earth Big could face. have happened? Oh yeah, Ike is dumb. Am am I dead? <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. Who, who's there? Me, the Mario. I'm making that joke because it's the same voice actor as Mario. How does it feel? Charles Martinet. Damn it, who is this? Damn. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Not at all. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. You are strongly fated today. You see, you are destined to die. Good premise. What? 
We are all destined to die. But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Thanks, but no thanks. Sounds too good to be true. I feel like an alien read Ike's lines. Yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> You're the big S, the devil. In exchange for your immortal soul, the big man, ass. Am I right? The actor who plays Ike, his delivery is oh, is bad. In this day and age, <laughs> if I do have an agenda, it's that you survive. Let me think it over a bit. Of course, of course. Go ahead, but don't keep me waiting too long. I don't much like to be left hanging. Well, what reason is there to procrastinate? You either just die here and now, or you It's a little bit like Silent Hill vibes, but not scary. What have you got? Yeah, I thought so at the time. All right. I'm sorry I called you the devil. I don't want to die yet. Please, help me. All right. But I want you to be aware of something. You have to understand that the destiny that awaits you is a potent one, which means that... That cameraman's really dizzy. <laughs> ...doesn't mean you're free of the threat. Unless you tear out its very root, destiny can't be cheated. So, coming back to life isn't the hard part, huh? Man, but that can't be helped. You're right, but that's also where your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time-shifting powers. I'm going to give you this digipad, please. Use it well. Digipad sounds like something that would be in Digimon. Yeah. Digipad. Digital. Pads. Yeah. Um, so let's just uh, take a peek around this environment. Very cool. Very surreal. Um, mm -hmm. Big our, old grandfather clock. You know, you know, our two elements here are Ike, and we. I think they've established pretty well that he's a big dummy. Um, but you know the the soothing, menacing voice of Charles Martinet. Um, but it's not as though you can use it anywhere. I never think of Charles Martinet as necessarily soothing, except for in this game. <laughs> yeah. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the digipad by pushing on the square button. After that, you specify the destination time. Do you like it when a game like says the controller prompts in the universe? Ah, uh, Metal Gear gets away with it. You know, I don't know. It, as long as it, it doesn't feel like it's breaking the fourth wall, it just seems like a necessity. Yeah. Uh, like. Uh, exposition that the character would already know just to catch the, the viewer up in a movie. Yeah. Okay, uh, I get it. You can't solve the real problem by just using it when you're about to die. It's better to make use of it to remove the underlying cause of your death. Oh, and one more thing. Something else? Yes, yes. And it's very important. If the response begins in the time space you've traveled out to, please come back immediately. Other people and objects can be just left in another time and stay intact. But that isn't true for you as the user. If it starts to respond, you need to come back quickly, or you won't be able to get back at all. Just be careful of that. It looks like time is something even more serious than I know. Good luck. <laughs> so we have died and uh, some guy that's maybe the devil has uh, given us time powers to reverse that death and but usually deals like this there's like a catch Sir, or please wake up sort of assuming are you all right Do you feel I mean even something? Ike seems to know that. <laughs> that guy's oh, gonna drip pasta everywhere. Sir. <laughs> Bunny, where am I? 
Was it all a dream? <laughs> so it's like actually like a very anime animation right there, like how quickly he stood up and. Huh? Oh, oh, sorry. I, I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, the, despite this taking place in Germany. Everybody who okay. made this game is Japanese, and all the motion capture actors are Japanese, so there, you have a bunch of Japanese mannerisms. Mm -hmm. Bike looks like some sort of gross bog creature. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I like... Games I, uh, that I'll, have people I'll just eating and drinking. Here. Mm -hmm. Or acknowledge that that happens at all. Yeah. Oh my god, they're loading, Jesus crap! <laughs> oh, thank god. This place called the Flamingo or something? Hmm. So I see a Flamingo. Two o'clock. I still can't believe what just happened. But since I have this digipad here, I guess it really did happen. Okay. Oh. Shoot, you, I can't use the right stick to control the camera. Oh, bummer. Alright, so... Oh, first person. Wow, look how tall we are. Yeah. Oh, no, that's I a kid. Sure. Okay, that's just a kid, though. What do you like? Is there voice acting for all the characters? Yes. Fully voice acted. It's still a rarity back in 2000 when it came out. 2001? No, it takes place in 2001. It came out in 2000. Hmm. So we're just allowed to kind of explore a little bit, go back. Wow, it is really dark. We should be seeing a dog there. I guess this is as far as I go. I wonder if I can adjust that in the option. The, yeah, the one option. Yeah. Uh, display. Yeah. Doorway oh. emphasis. I don't think we probably need... Screen adjustment? Oh. Shoot. There it goes. Oh, how do I do that? Uh, uh, just a screen position with uh, return to default. End with X button to just monitor brightness. <laughs> oh my. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not built in the game. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I remember this game well enough. The one uh, stutter. Okay, so here we are. It's a pretty unique setting. Um, Time is passing. Oh yeah, and uh, that's important because we, if we don't figure out what we're supposed to do by the time that we're going to die, which is two thirty, um, we will be dead, dead, and the game will be over. Hopster. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, but the square does get a lot of performers. You know, street performers. They get a pretty big crowd going. It's kind of nice. The music the balance seems weird. Like the music's really loud for the audio, the yeah. dialogue. Um, I'm just trying to get a lay of the land, kind of meeting some of the recurring characters. Uh, in this uh, first chapter, dogs seal off. You see, you, you don't have a run of the town. Mm -hmm. Just of this area, small area around the square. Um, just so kind of you, you get your your grounding. I can't like Ike is so tall, and I don't understand why he's wearing like those high waisted pants just to make him look even taller. Uh, he looks kind of like a, a uh, like a love interest from a, a sojo a shojo uh, manga. Yeah. Just, or he looks like a like a circus performer on stilts. Yeah, I mean same difference. Hmm. Occasionally, as time passes, um, Ike gets more and more nervous. So I in this game, this you're lot. trying to discover the secret of Onomichi, right? Exactly. Don't have time for chit chat. 
Okay. And every time you talk to somebody, it burns time. As well. We're always losing time. It's the nature of things. Okay, so there's the cafe where we started. Um, here's a well. Oh, there's an old woman. Mm -hmm. A little girl. Oh, there we go. So something that hmm. is interactable Fortune's glows cold. Or specifically, kind of, a specific kind of interactable. Uh, or interactable. <laughs> is that a word? Yeah. This is a classic scene, I remember. <gasps> Spoilers. Spoilers. It is spooky. Welcome. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Actually, I just happened to stop by, and I was wondering if he you does, could tell he me did my sound fortune. frightened. Am I going to die soon? For you, I will do it for free. Thanks. I really need this. Please, we will do don't the just nasty. give me usual niceties. This is very serious for me. Don't worry. So? The fated hour is 2.30. What? Whatever I foresee, you can change. If you take no action, the fate I see will befall you for certain. But I seem to see in you the strength to defy fate itself. The power to defy fate? If, for instance, and this is only an example, your fate is to be stabbed while taking a walk after you leave this place, and this would happen if you are alone at the fated hour. But if you know what awaits you, you would find people to be with, so that you would not be by yourself, unprotected. But then what? If you are among others at the fated hour, the assassin must give up his quarry, and fate would have been defied. But a single change will affect all else that follows it. How it changes, no one can tell. There are too many threads, too many tangles. I cannot help you with what lies so far oh? ahead. What? And your actions oh? could bring even greater danger. If fate can be changed, you should fight as hard as you can. If you can return here after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell you the next fortune. All right. I think I can trust you. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> that seems like a weird thing to say. <laughs> okay. Uh... Sometimes you need a clue to, to know when to travel back to. Um, and through the game, we'll be periodically coming back to just ask the fortune teller, see what she thinks. Maybe I will have to mark the door. Okay, there it is. Uh, also, energy unit. Okay, that's, uh, that's in, will be coming come to play later. Uh, just trying to keep our energy up in the digipad is a mechanic unto itself. But yeah. right now, we do not have to worry about it. Oh, it's the whole town. Cool. Uh, and we are stuck right in... Uh, oh, right in here. Yeah. Okay. How do I... Okay. Uh, inventory. Ooh, proper adventure game inventory. Yeah. Cool cell phone. Back See, town. I do wish that this was an adventure game like more in a Kingdom of the Island where you go like under a railing and you find some used gum and then you go and you find like a old comb in the trash can and then like you finagle those things together to make a mustache so that you the dogs let you pass. <laughs> <laughs> so Jacob's referencing how things were done in like fucking uh, LucasArts adventure games. And this this is way less obtuse okay so we've only got uh, two different time periods we can 
keep living here where we will surely die, or we can go to the past. Uh, Maybe I can gather a group of people. Yeah. Potentially. Uh, so a little more than an hour, or a little less than an hour in the past, in this case. Oh, and we, and we burn an energy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's really dark. So, while this is loading, I know that this episode is going up on uh, Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. Yeah. And so, we uh, wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and uh, know that we're always thankful for you to listen with us, uh, listen to us, and join us on our on our journeys. So, thank you. Yes. Okay. So here we are. Uh, we've got, and since we're slightly in the past, we need to change the conditions for when we return to the future, where we will not be alone uh, to get stabbed. Mm-hmm. Uh, start and small. Start and small. Um, I'm just going in here to see. It seemed like there's things to pick up in here, unless I am mistaken. Oh, got an old city map. Cool. So the the map of the town in olden times. Olden times. Might come into play later. Maybe. No spoilers. May I help you? If you need a city map, please help yourself. By the way, if you want to look at the map, just press the triangle button. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I can go into first person. Oh, here we go. Wow, this looks like a Yaksa game. Yeah, kind of. I would like a Yakuza game where you don't beat up dudes. Mm hmm You know. But, like, maybe you had, like, judgmental eyes or something. <laughs> I think you still beat up. Yeah, I think you... I still think you beat up I'm guys. referencing, so, Yakuza Kazuma Kiryu's journey is over. Um, as of Yakuza 6, but the next game that team is working on that still takes place in Kamurocho uh, is called Judge Eyes. Where you play as like a, a dirty cop who runs a detective agency or something, but he still beats up dudes. Yeah. Mao. Hmm. Or, or, or. You want me to come to the square at two thirty? What's going to happen in the square? A performer, maybe. Well, all right. I don't have anything else to do anyway. So obviously Ike has decided that he's just going to tell people to go to the square to see a performance. Have you seen my mother? Okay. Guess I'll go to the square. Do you think Life is Strange was inspired by this? Um, probably not. <laughs> I mean, I think Life is Strange is more inspired by Sierra and LucasArts games, then I never figured out what was up with this guy. Have you seen a woman wrapped in a coat wandering around here? And the woman who was looking for him on the other uh, other side of the square. Uh huh. I never figured out how to make anything happen with them. Some things are never meant to be. Um, and it may not seem like it, but it's actually quite um, versatile. Like. There's a lot. There's actually quite a few ways to do things mm -hmm. that aren't immediately ob really obvious. Um, we could just, to, if you you want to play the Inception horn here, go talk to the. Um, I don't think you should do any spoilers. You can talk to the guy, but I don't want you doing your cute little teases of things to come, because this will be a lot of people's first time watching this. You return there quickly, you won't be able to go back. So the fortune teller recognizes that he's out of Beware. out of time. Uh -huh. Was the point I was gonna make. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. So it's like, ooh, that's weird. Okay, and then I mean I would imagine if this is my first playthrough, I'd be like, alright. I guess I can't go in there. Uh yeah. Lazy game developers. Looking for a date? Do me a favor. Go away. Uh, I look strange. Mind your own business. Um, it's a weird thing for Ike to say. 
This is the the woman I was uh. referencing. Uh, excuse me, have you seen a man walking around here? Definitely creepy. Well, I think it's some sort of liaison. Okay, uh, my crotch is glowing there, which means that the digipad thinks that I can return to the the present and survive. Uh, and for certain things to happen, you don't always want to just pull the trigger on that. Uh -huh. You know, you've got other you, other things you could potentially to do to change the outcome of the story. Because there are like seven different endings. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a, a boatload, and there's actually a lot of variation in just those, uh, and side quests and shit. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, I suppose I could go in that church, but there's probably no good reason to, other than there's um an energy thing in there. Oh, I can't even get in there. Never mind. Okay, let's go back to the future. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is sort of like I would be confused if I was playing this by myself. Um, for the you know. Oh yeah, I was super confused the first time. Like it's sort of a, it's it's this tutorial segment where it's kind of hard to screw things up. But I'd be like, okay, what? Why this thing's glowing now? Why? <laughs> um, yeah, it's inscrutable. Uh, certainly to start. Um, the I, originally I thought okay I'm supposed to be with people at 2.30 so I just waited hanging around like you know like I was standing next to somebody why did I get stabbed but that's not that's not what they mean yeah okay here we are back in the square in our own time uh, we have the the people standing in the square and a mysterious performer creepy He's tall. Hey, now here's a guy with no worries. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, too. <laughs> Good shadows. <laughs> there was someone behind me. But it looks like the crowd scared him off. Yeah, Ike has delayed reaction syndrome. <laughs> she told me to come back. I should go look her up again. What a weirdo. He is very weird. Okay. Oh, prologue. We finished the prologue. And thank you, everybody. Um, so we were thinking, because this show is going to just be once a week on Thursdays to replace demo days. Um... Uh, we would just do a, a chapter, a chapter a week, and make turn this game episodic like a Telltale game. <laughs> yeah. Um, we will just uh, we'll just put this up next ep uh, next episode. Uh, but thank you for watching and Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful yeah. Have a feast wonderful Thanksgiving. And spend time with those you care about. And uh, be safe. And subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, uh, pound that bell, 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 bell icon. Yeah. All right, see you, everybody. Bye.